have you been ghosted by employers despite having the right certifications on your resume hold on don't skip this video just yet do you feel overwhelmed by all the conflicting advice about what skills you actually need to break into cyber security now if that sounds like you stick around because i'm about to share exactly what works i'm breaking down the five practical skills that actually matter in the cyber security field right now not what looks impressive on linkedin but what works in the real world when you're aiming for a six-figure career if you are new around here i'm told up michael i'm a cyber security expert and career coach with close to a decade of experience i drop videos like this every week so if this sounds like the kind of value you're looking for hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up without further delay let's get started with skill number one networking fundamentals skill number one is understanding basic networking and i really can't emphasize this enough the fact is you can't protect what you don't understand it's like trying to be a bodyguard for someone when you don't know what they look like or where they are going everything in cyber security exists with a network system when a hacker breaks into a company they are exploiting network weaknesses okay when your company data gets stolen it travels across networks when ransomware spreads through a business guess what it uses networks to move around that probably sounds like a lot but trust me it isn't all you need is a simplified approach to understanding how the flow works first learn how data travels from one computer to another this includes understanding what happens when you type a website address into your browser how does your request travel to that website and how does that website send information back to you second understand basic network devices know what routers switches and firewalls what do they do each of these devices plays a specific role in either moving data around or protecting it third get familiar with ip addresses these are like the home address of devices on a network you need to know how to identify which devices are talking to each other just like a security guard need to know which cars belong in a parking lot fourth Learn about common networking protocols like HTTP, HTTPS, and DNS. These are the languages that devices use to communicate with each other. When these protocols have weaknesses, hackers take advantage of them. And finally, practice setting up a simple network yourself. You can do this at home with just a few devices. This hands on experience will teach you more than reading a dozen books on networking theory you don't need to become a networking engineer but you do need to understand these basics when i interview candidates i always ask networking questions because they review whether someone truly understand how cyber attacks work or not although i think it's the simplest breakdown of how to learn networking that you will find anywhere but if anything is unclear drop your questions in the comment section and i can get to them as soon as i can okay let's move on to skill number two operating system proficiency see skill number two is becoming comfortable with both windows and linux operating systems and i'll give you an example if you were protecting a house you need to know all the entry points how the locks work where the valuables are kept operating systems are the houses that hackers are trying to break into almost every company uses windows for their employees and linux for their servers hackers know this as well and they are targeting both so it's important you understand even on a basic level how they work for windows focus on these key areas first understand how user accounts work who can access what files who has permission to install software this is like knowing who has keys to which rooms in the building okay in a real security job you will spend a lot of time fixing permission issues that create security holes second learn where windows keeps its records of what is happening these are called logs and they're like security cameras for your computer when something suspicious happens these logs are the first place to check to figure out what went wrong third get comfortable with the windows security tools that come built in windows defender the firewall and encryption features are your first line of defense many companies rely heavily on these basic tools so if you know them good for you for linux 
what you need is first don't be afraid of the command line it's just a different way to talk to your computer if typing command seems scary now start small okay the more you practice the more natural it becomes second understand how file permissions work in linux this is totally different from windows and it's a common source of security problems when set up incorrectly third learn basic linux security hardening this means removing unnecessary software closing unused network ports and setting up proper user account these simple steps prevent most basic attacks the best part of all this is you can practice all of this for free at home what you just need to do is set up a virtual machine which is basically a computer inside your computer and experiment okay break things intentionally then figure out how to fix them when i started in cyber security i would practice by setting up a linux server then try to break into it using different techniques then i'll fix the vulnerabilities i found this taught me more than any course could see you don't have to spend so much to get these very important skills you don't okay now let's talk about skills number three cyber security tools proficiency skill number three is knowing how to use essential cyber security tools and i'll tell you the reality on your first day at a cyber security job nobody is going to hold your hand and teach you the basics they expect you to already know these tools just like a carpenter is expected to know how to use hammer and saw right so what tools exactly will make you valuable from day one first you need a tool that helps you see what's on a network think of it like a security guard who needs to know every doorway and window in the building that they're protecting the most common tool for this is nmap with nmap you can discover all devices connected to a network and then see what services they are running okay second you need a tool that shows you what's actually moving across the network this is like being able to inspect every package that enters and leaves a building wireshark is perfect for this as well okay it lets you see the actual data traveling across your network when you're dealing with a slow network for instance wireshark may pick up a massive data transfer that could be an indication of data theft third you need tools that automatically check for security weaknesses this is similar to having a security inspector that checks every lock and alarm tools like open vars okay they scan your systems and tell you exactly what needs fixing for example on a job a tool like this will be great for running weekly scans and then you can prioritize fixes based on the risk level fourth learn at least one security monitoring tool this will serve as security camera systems that alert you when something suspicious happens splunk is the industry leader here it collects all your security logs in one place and helps you spot attacks and by the way if you want a real breakdown of how to use these tools i have a video that you will find very helpful the link to it should be in the description below so check it out after we are done here okay so the key difference between successful and struggling security professionals is simple successful ones install these tools and practice with them please don't just watch videos about them download them most have free versions okay set them up and use them regularly if you will be doing that go ahead and give this video thumbs up right now okay moving on to skill number four you know i get a lot of messages from people asking how they can break into cyber security it's tough especially if you're like how i used to be stuck in a job that doesn't pay enough or feeling like you've hit a wall i get it that is why i created something more than just these videos you're watching something structured practical and focused on real action it's called the five day cyber security job challenge this isn't just content you'll binge and forget we're talking hands-on learning real skills and daily guidance two hours a day for five days it's all designed to push you from thinking about change to actually making it happen look i love making these youtube videos but let's be honest how many times have you watched a great video thought i'm going to do something about that and then didn't that is why this challenge is different it's designed to be your support okay we're not just learning you're giving task actionable steps every single day with live q and a's where 
I personally help you avoid mistakes and learn the jobs that will change your life. Watching my videos is great, but if you want to go beyond watching, if you are ready to take real steps toward a $250,000 career a year, come join the challenge. The link is in the description below. You can't miss it. Now, enjoy the rest of this video, but don't forget to come back when you're ready to take that next step. Cloud Security Fundamentals It is important you understand cloud security basics because businesses are not keeping their data in server rooms anymore. They are putting everything in the cloud. Now, imagine if all the banks suddenly moved their vault to a completely new type of building. Security guards will need to learn new protection method fast. That's exactly what's happening with cloud security. So what do you need to focus on? First, understand how access control works in the cloud. This is completely different from traditional networks. Okay, In the cloud, it's not about physical assets or network boundaries. It's about digital identities and permissions. It's like having a digital ID card system where each person can unlock only specific doors. I once helped a company that had accidentally given all their employees access to customer credit card data in the cloud. By the way, that's a mistake they never would have made with physical servers. So you need to learn the difference. Second, learn how to properly set up cloud storage. The number one cause of cloud breaches is misconfigured storage. For every instance of data breach that happens in the cloud, companies are losing millions, often due to something as simple as an improperly configured S3 bucket or unsecured access settings that leaves sensitive data exposed to anyone with the right tools. And third, master cloud monitoring. The cloud gives you amazing visibility into what's happening with your data, but only if you set it up correctly. It's like having security cameras that you never turned on. It's a waste of money and resources. So you need to know how to track who is accessing what and set up alert for suspicious activity. Fourth, you have to understand how encryption works in the cloud. This is your last line of defense. Even if someone breaks in, properly encrypted data is useless to them. Every cloud provider offers encryption tools, but you need to know how to use them correctly. The best way to learn cloud security is by doing. All major cloud providers like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, they all offer free accounts where you can practice. I encourage you to set up a secure environment, then try to break into it, okay? Then fix the vulnerabilities you find. The hands-on experience is what employers are really looking for. And just like that, we've arrived at skill number five, basic scripting and automation. Skill number five is learning basic scripting and automation. This is quite important because cybersecurity involves tons of repetitive tasks checking logs, scanning systems, testing security controls. These things need to happen daily or even hourly. The difference between a good security professional and a great one often comes down to automation skills. For any employer, it all comes down to, would we rather hire someone who manually checks Android systems every day, taking hours or someone who can write a simple script to check all systems in minutes and allows them only when there's a problem. Fortunately, you don't need to become a programmer. You just need to learn enough to make your job easier. What you should be paying attention to is, first, learn Python. With just a little Python knowledge, you can automate log analysis, scan for vulnerabilities, or even process security data. Second, if you're working with Windows systems, learn some PowerShell. This is Microsoft Automation Language, and it is incredibly powerful for security tasks. With just a few lines of PowerShell, you can check every computer in your company for missing security patches or dangerous configurations. Third, for Linux systems, learn some basic bash scripting. This lets you chain together Linux commands to perform complex security tasks automatically. In the early days of my career, I used a simple bash script to automatically back up and analyze our firewall logs. It was only 20 lines long, but incredibly useful. Now, I need to say this, start small, okay? Don't try to build complex tools right away. You wanna begin with a simple script that you know solves 
one simple problem that you face regularly okay just one specific problem maybe it's a script that organizes log files or checks if a system is missing important security patches right so this is what i want you to do think of one repetitive security task that you do regularly then try to automate it with a simple script this week okay let me know in the comments what task you're planning to automate and i will try to help you with suggestions now before i wrap up I want to share a bonus tip that has helped so many of my viewers land their first cybersecurity job, okay? Beyond these five essential skills, one of the best things you can do is build a home lab for practicing your skills. This gives you a safe environment to experiment, make mistakes, and learn without consequences. The great news is that this doesn't have to be expensive at all. You can create a powerful learning environment with just a decent laptop or desktop computer that you probably already own. Install some virtual machine software like VirtualBox, which is completely free. Then load up your virtual machines with free security tools and then start practicing. You can also take advantage of cloud provider, free tiers, right? AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. They all offer free tiers that give you enough resources to practice cloud security concepts, even without spending a dime. This is hands on the best way to gain practical experience with cloud platforms. Having a place to practice these skills in a safe environment is a very key part of your learning journey. It's also something that you can talk about in interviews. Okay, When an interviewer asks about your experience with a particular tool or concept, being able to describe how you've used it in your home lab makes a much stronger impression than just saying you've read about it. I've seen candidates with minimal professional experience learn jobs because they could speak intelligently about the projects they had completed in their home labs. It shows initiative, practical skills, and even genuine interest in the field, which are all qualities that employers value so highly. Okay, there's one thing. This is just the beginning, okay? Building your knowledge is important, but applying it, practicing it, and making it real is where the magic happens. So if you haven't already, get work on setting up that home lab, start experimenting and make this skill second nature, okay? So guys, if this video gave you any value, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss out on more tips like this. And in my usual manner, I hope I'm leaving you today better than I met you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.